A year or so ago, I made a video about how to T-splice a wire without using solder. And I got a lot of feedback from it. Some good, a lot of it bad. And most of that bad was people saying that if you're gonna splice wires together, you must use solder. So I can solder as well, you know, and when you need to solder, you need one of these a helping hand. And then of course you need some solder and then you need some uh, heat sink dealies like that. And then you need a soldering iron and then you need uh, a base to put it in. And then of course, don't forget about, you need some wire splices, uh, wire splicers, and then you need some heat shrink and then you need a heat gun. So that's what you need to solder. I get it and I know it, but I found a way to solder wires together without needing all of this. So let's get rid of it all. Except for, we're gonna keep, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna keep this, these, this, the heat gun, and this is what we're gonna use. We're gonna use solder seal, or solder, as some people would say, depending on what part of the country you're from. Here's what these are. It's a heat shrink tube with adhesive on each side and solder right in the middle that's low temperature enough to where you can use a heat gun to melt it. I'm going to show you how to do it. First thing we're going to do is we're going to strip our wires. And per the comments in the video that I made before, instead of pulling the insulation off and then twisting it, use the insulation to do the twisting. That way it's nice and clean. So there's a number of ways you can splice them together. Sometimes people say to fray them and then mix them together, but I think for strength, you want to make kind of like a C shape out of them or a J, depending on how you want to look at it. Hook them together and then twist. Like that. And then we put the solder seal over it. And then we bring in our helping hands. And links to pretty much everything I use can be found in the description below. Including this really great reflector for a heat gun that makes things nice and easy. So there you have it. Solder, adhesive, and heat shrink all in one. So as this cools, it starts to not be quite so transparent. And it's pretty tough. So I got curious about a couple things. If it's low temperature solder, then what happens if uh, you use it in an engine compartment where it gets hot again? So let's find out if it makes any difference whatsoever. We're going to heat it up again. So it appears that once the low temperature solder has melted and gotten into the wires, heat doesn't have much of an impact on it. 
All right, it's still a little bit warm, but I got curious. It's pretty tough. Yeah, it's, it's pretty tough. There we go. So as you can see, that solder is all the way in the wires. I would think this is just as good for most uses as using a soldering iron and solder and everything else. So there you have it. Get it on Amazon. It's pretty affordable. You get this complete kit for about 20 bucks. I think it's what I'm going to use from now on. Thanks for everybody's thoughts and advice and suggestions. And of course, if you haven't already, subscribe to my videos as we all continue to learn about cool stuff together in my garage. Thanks for watching.